for anyone who wants to build a higher level of production. Is there anyone here besides me who would like to build a higher level of production? Almost everybody, very good. So that means we need to what? Stay after for sale by owners. It's something that you add to what you're doing with your database and the expires that you're pursuing. A lot of extra money there. We probably have 75 for sale by owners in Shreveport Bossier right now. As a matter of fact, I didn't count them, but what I do is when the lead comes to me, I catalog them in this book, and then I take notes every time I visit or call each one of them. And right now, between North Bossier, Shreveport, South Bossier, Houghton, and then the Stonewall, um, Keithville area, there's at least 75 for sale by owners out there. So there's a lot of business there to be had if you'll pursue it. Um, the question I usually get after that is what? Where do you get those leads? Does that make sense to anybody? Yeah. I subscribe to buyownerdaily.com. Yeah, you're no longer a nameless, faceless voice over the phone. Now you're a real, tangible person that they remember that face. And then when you come by every week, even if you don't catch them at home, now that they know who you are and what you look like, if you leave something to say, hey, I made my weekly visit, sorry I missed you, please give me a ring if, uh, if I can help you or answer any questions. Now, what do you say at the door when they do come to the door? Who's got a script for that? Nobody? Yes, sir. I do have a script. What is it? Uh, I, I found it yesterday, so I don't know yet. <laughs> well, could you read it? Uh, I don't have it on me. Oh, well, actually, I did. Come on. Okay. The point is, if you're going to go knock on someone's door, or even if you're going to call them on the phone, do you know what to say? Well, we're going to go over that today. So, what you say and how you say it makes all the difference. All the difference. Okay, well, listen to this one and learn a script and see if it'll work for you. I guarantee it'll work if you'll use it and refine it. The reason a lot of scripts don't work is that when you're not confident with them and a lack of confidence comes through in your tonality, doesn't it? Yes. Have you noticed that when you're talking to people? If they don't really believe that you believe it, then they ain't gonna believe it either, all right? They're only gonna believe you if you believe in you. You gotta deliver it with authority and deliver it with the right tonality in order for them to grab it and run with it. Knock, knock, door open. Yeah, what do you want? Hi, I'm Steve with Keller Williams, and I'd like to apply for the job of getting this home sold. you have just a moment to show me the features and benefits of your home? Well, are you gonna bring us a buyer? That's exactly what I intend to do. I intend to bring you a continuous flow of qualified buyers seeking to purchase in the immediate future. Isn't that what you really want? Well, yeah, I guess that's what we want. Great, could we look at the home? Get in the door, get in a conversation with them. And then start asking them questions on the script. If you sell this home, where will you go next? How soon do you have to be there? What method are you currently using to market your home? Blah, 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 blah. And then we're gonna hit our models. Every time we ask a question on the script, everybody should copy this, by the way. The first, these are models. You gotta use models. Everything that has to be modeled and use it over and over the same way every time in order for you to become competent and confident when approaching prospects for sale by owners or otherwise. Here's the six things we're gonna do. Excuse me, four things we're gonna do. Number one, we're gonna handle objections. Guess what we have for handling objections? We have a model. Somebody gives us an objection, we repeat and affirm. We don't make people wrong, we don't disagree with them. If you say to me, Steve, we're never gonna list with an agent, and I say, well, that's pretty crappy, and I start getting argumentative, am I ever gonna get them to list? No. But if I, they say to me, Steve, we're never going to list with an agent. Well, I've heard that from about 35, 3,900 for sale by owners, and I've listed them anyway, okay? So I don't even hear that anymore. I don't buy into it. I simply repeat it, I affirm it, and move on with my script. Steve, we're never going to list with an agent. 
I can appreciate how you feel. Lots of FISBOs accept that don't think they'll ever list with an agent. So other than not listing with an agent, is there anything else keeping you from listing with me today? Isolate the objection. What if they say we don't want to pay a commission? Other than not paying a commission, is there anything else keeping you from listing with me today? Why do you think we isolate that? Get it out of the way. What is it? Gets it out of the way. Yeah, because if I successfully handle it, and they say that's the only thing, they've painted themselves into a corner, and now when I handle it, and it makes sense, what are they obligated to do now? They say Sign the contract, right? <laughs> okay. If they give you three things, you just take them all three and answer to handle three objections. If there's any, is there anything keeping anything other than blank keeping you from listing with me today? Well, yeah, there's this, this, and this. Great. This is perfectly normal. I hear that all the time. And boom, I handle it. The other one, also hear it all the time. Everybody thinks that going in. Boom, I handle it. Right on down the line, and then after we handle it, isolate and handle. What do we do? We close. What does close mean in sales? Ask for the business. Asking for the board or the order, or asking for the business, asking for the appointment, or signing the contract, depending on if we're prospecting, lead generating, or if we're at the presentation asking for a signature on a contract. Does that make sense? So, guess what we have for closing? A model. Very good. The next block on the closing clinic chart, closing model, is the tie-down question. Anybody know what a tie-down question is? Not you. No? A tie-down question is simply regurgitating something that they have already given you that they believe is a fact. If they say they're moving to Dallas and they need to be there in the next 90 days, I'm going to come back with a tie down question when I close them. You still need to be in Dallas in 90 days with your cash out, don't you? They can't say no to that because they're the ones that told me that in the first place, right? It's also a setup question that always gets you an affirmative response. And we call that a pattern of agreement. If I get them saying yes, 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 and then I ask for the appointment, what's logical for them to say next? Another yes. Establishes a pattern of agreement and the most powerful tie-down questions are the ones that have Y-O-U in them. 